have to get all the salts out. We just have to let it we, wash it off. We don't have an undercarriage washer, but the, it usually takes care of it pretty good because we try to wash the car before we work on it. Yeah. That way we can see all the scratches and dings. And when I lift it up, it's usually pretty clean on it. The wash does a very good job. But if, as you can see under here, you can you have things you don't normally see from the top. You can see a catalytic converter, and actually this car actually has two catalytic converters. Um, then this is this is where I'm working all day underneath. Got your oil filter, and this is your drain plug for your oil, and then your drain plug for your transmission fluids underneath the splash here. But so you have to take the splash off to get to everything. Yeah. Except the oil. Yeah. Yeah, they just they put that up there though to protect the bottom on the engine, and you know it's it's a good thing. It's just kind of a pain sometimes. Nothing like a Honda. That's right. <laughs> for your cord, what's gas tank capacity? Uh, I'm not sure for the cord. Um, it should say in your owner's manual. Though. Yeah, I hadn't checked it. Yeah. It's just, they're usually around 14, 15 gallons. But any questions about anything underneath the vehicle? Yeah, anything you would like to know more about? This is actually a, they call it a resonator. This brings the, the decimal down before it hits the marker.